Hi, welcome to Math 112. My name is Tara Stamps, and I am going to be your professor for this semester. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started with showing you a little bit, you know, of the course. So let's start off with D2L. When you open up D2L, you're going to notice that there are announcements over here. I do try to limit the number of announcements that I post. So if you see an announcement, please take the time to read it. I don't try to post a whole lot and overwhelm you. So weekly, I'll post the announcements. It just says, hey, here's a summary of what's going on this week. Um, but mainly go to the content area for that week so that you can see all the details and links and stuff like that, right? Make sure that you install the Brightspace app on your phone. That way you'll get notifications about, you know, grades going into D2L, announcements, things like that. All right. So if you go over to content, now this is the instructor version. Um, so you guys, it's going to look a little bit different for you guys. Tell you what, I'll go to the student view, maybe. So it'll look a little bit more like what you guys are going to see. <clears throat> so you go over to content. And you'll see over here on the left hand side, it says week one. So the first two weeks of, of um, classes at Prairie State are going to be fully online. This really is nothing different for you guys, except my office hours that I had set up for you know, normal um, are going to be different. I'll be available Monday through Thursday from 11 to 1. And you can just use the Google Meet link. So the link is right there where it says, here's the link. You'll see if you hover over that, that it's a link. Um, no appointment necessary. You can just pop in if you have any questions or concerns anytime during that 11 to 1 time. And I'll be there waiting for you. So again, there's the summary. of Everything you need to do this week. If you scroll down, you'll see the getting started in Math 112. Make sure you read through all that stuff. The syllabus is here my office hours, the technology lending program, that's in case you need a hotspot or a laptop or a webcam or anything like that. Prairie State can will lend those out. If you need a calculator, you can contact the library and they do loan out calculators as well. So um, Alex or Alex360, I think is its formal name. That's where you're going to be doing your homework, taking quizzes and taking tests. You need Alex. Do not put off getting that, okay? You don't need a textbook. You need this access code. If you can't get an access code just yet, you can sign up for a temporary account. You just got to go into the registration process and get a temporary account. However, that temporary account is just that, is temporary. You cannot renew the temporary account. You have to actually purchase it. You can buy it from the bookstore using your voucher or you can buy it directly from the publisher. Okay. Now, the class code when you go to sign up that you're going to need is right there in red. I've got the how to set up an Alex account link, link to the Alex login page, and um, a link of Alex shortcuts that I put together for you. Okay. When you go to sign up for Alex, you will be asked to take a tools tutorial. Don't skip that do the tools tutorial. Okay, that's going to show you how to type in answers, how to use some of the little um, key shortcuts, things like that. Don't skip that. After that, Alex is going to, going to ask you to do an initial knowledge check. Okay, I can't bypass that. That's just a service that Alex offers. So what I need you to do is just go click on start knowledge check. And then as soon as you can, skip it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Answer whatever. Just answer C until you get the little thing at the bottom right that says skip knowledge check. You don't have to do it. Okay. I'm not going to look at it. It's not going to be of any use to us. Once you get past that knowledge check, then in Alex, you're going to see. Let me open this up for you. You're going to see a page that looks like that. Right. And there's those the three little vertical bars there, the menu button. If you click on that, you'll see 
a list on that left hand side. The assignments are the only thing I want you to focus on. So if you just click on assignments, it'll take you to the homework, the quizzes, the tests as they're assigned. OK, so they're not all going to show up at once. They will you know, show up along the way. But yeah, this this little document that I that I put together is going to be really helpful for you to refer back to as you're using Alex as little shortcuts. OK, so make sure you come back to this once you get into Alex, come back to this because this is just a quick little document that's going to help you with things like, hey, look, this little icon shows you a worked example. Hey, this little icon is going to email your instructor what problem you're you know, struggling with, um, you know, things like that that aren't obvious. All right, let me go back over here into the content area for week one. So we've got, you know, the basics, getting started, syllabus, Alex, that you absolutely need. Do not wait. We hit the ground running with this course. All right. Do not wait a few weeks to get Alex. If you wait a few weeks to get Alex and then log in to catch up, you're already you're already too far behind. You may as well drop. All right. So this is no joke. This is not something that you are just going to be able to watch the videos and then you'll just kind of catch up on later. This course moves fast. There is no time for catching up and keeping up, all right? If you have any technical problems with Alex, um, you can email me or you can always call their customer service or I put a link in there for any kind of you know, frequently asked questions and uh, troubleshooting stuff. You'll notice each week they're gonna, there's going to be a material to learn section. You'll have lecture notes and videos. The videos are basically me going through the lecture notes teaching, explaining, going over examples, things like that. The lecture notes are the exact same ones that I do in the video. So those do, you know, correspond to each other. Please make sure that you're giving the videos your full attention. Don't have them playing in the background while you're doing something else. Don't try to like type your research paper while you listen to the videos because you're doing a disservice to both assignments. Okay. If math could be learned by just playing in the background into your subconscious, people would love math a lot more. Unfortunately, that's not the case. You do have to give it your full attention, work the problems along with me. You know. So then the homework section. The homework is going to be in Alex. In order to pass a homework section, you have to get a 75% or higher. That will give you the two points for that homework section. Now, these two points are all or nothing. So if you earn a 75%, you get the two points for the homework. If you earn 100% on the homework section, you get the two points. So what's the incentive for getting 100% versus a 75%? Well, just that you know the material better. And then when the test comes along, you know, you'll perform better on the tests. The homeworks, you get unlimited number of attempts and unlimited time. The quizzes, you'll have, you know, a certain number of attempts. The tests, you only get one attempt and it's timed. So keep that in mind. The first half of the homework up to section 7.6 is going to be due Saturday, March 19th. So I kind of have it spaced out to where the first half of the homework is due around midterm and the last half is going to be due at the end of the semester. But I hope that you will keep up with it along the way. Do not wait until the last minute to do the homework. You will see better test scores, better quiz grades, if you're doing the homework. Also, if you're not doing the homework, you don't know how Alex works. So when you go to take a test, you don't know how to type in an answer or type in a fraction or anything like that. You've got to practice that along the way. And that's what the homework and the quizzes are going to be for. Um, yeah. So that's everything for week one. Um, you don't have a quiz in week one, but if we go over here and we click on week two and scroll down, you'll see the quizzes section. So quiz one's posted as an assignment in Alex. It's worth five points. You usually have uh, between one and five questions on there. So don't be alarmed if there's only like two or three questions and you're like, where's the rest of it? They're intended to be short. Okay. They're not timed and you get two attempts to get the highest score possible. If and, and it's set up to keep your highest score. OK, so also I will be putting your grades in D2L. So you don't have to look at Alex for the grades because 
the Alex Craig book is just a hot mess. So just don't worry about looking at it there. Okay, so let's go back to week one here. And I just want to quickly go through the syllabus with you. Just real quick. I'm going to let you guys read it on your own. But normally, my office hours, I would have some virtual and some in person. Um, assuming that these this first two weeks of everything being online is a temporary thing, then we'll be going back to, you know, normal, whatever that is anymore. Um, my office is in the main building, room 2301. My office phone number is there. You can call during my in-person office hours. Um, the best way to reach me is definitely my email. If you send me an email and I don't respond within 24 hours, send it again because I must not have gotten it. Right. I always respond to my emails within 24 hours. So if I don't respond, don't keep waiting days and days and days. I didn't get your email. OK. Um, course description, Alex, a lot of that I've already gone over. Um, all of your grades are going to be kept in D2L. I tend to update those weekly. So usually I'll just pick a day of the week and that's when I will you know, update your grades. I'll change, you know, take your quiz grades out of Alex and put them in there. When the homework due date hits, I'll put those in there. So you'll, um, yeah, so you'll see your grades, you know, go into D2L slowly over the course of the entire semester. Um, the grading, oops, skipped over back to it. Whoa, no, 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 stop that. Your grade's going to be determined by three tests that are 60 points each, that are about 50% of your grade the quizzes, the homework. So there's 30 sections of homework assigned and you um, are expected to do 25 of those. So you can skip five. Okay. That gives you 25 sections of homework, two points each, that's 50 points. And at the end of the semester, we'll have a comprehensive final. All the tests, quizzes, homework, final, all are gonna be in Alex. So you have to have Alex. And you have to have this, this access code. Um, accommodations, if you need any kind of um, special accommodations, we have a request form and I have an email and phone number for our disability services um, office. You can always contact me as well and I can put you in touch with the right person if you should need any kind of um, yeah, special accommodations for anything. The tests are gonna be available for three days. I will post an announcement that says, hey, test is open. You have until you know Wednesday or whatever to do your test. And then I'll post on the day that's due. Again, reminder, if you haven't taken your test, here it is, make sure you take it. So because you have three days to take it, you just got to carve out you know, two hours within those three days. I do not give makeups. So please do not miss a test. If you want to know when a test is going to be, you can always go into D2L and just click on the different weeks. I have everything for the entire course already laid out so you can know when the tests are going to happen ahead of time. The quizzes, we already went over that. The homework, those points are all or nothing. Either you get a 75% or you don't. Academic honesty, you know, basically if you use any kind of software app, anything like that that's going to do a problem for you, um, then it's probably cheating. So, um, when in doubt, just ask me. Just say, hey, can I use can I use this app? I'm not going to judge you. So if you come at me and you say, hey, you know what, I'm going to use photo math on this. I'm going to be like, yeah, no, let's not. I mean, you can use those apps for good. Like if you're stuck and it's 2 a.m. and you're frustrated and you're about to yeet your computer across the room or something, then maybe one of those apps would help you figure out where you're making your mistake. But if you're simply just using them to do the problems for you, then that's not OK. Uh, the miscellaneous section, if you need help, please come to my office hours you know, the virtual ones, just come to my office hours. You can share your screen. If you're on your phone for the office hours, you can just point your phone at your screen and, you know, we can discuss what kind of problems you have. I have a document camera that I can just, you know, write stuff. You can see what I'm writing and then I will scan it and email it to you after we meet. It, we make it work. Okay. We'll figure it out. We make it work. Um, we also have free tutors available in our Student Success Center, so please take advantage of those. If you would like to schedule one, you can contact Lisa Hansen. I gave you her email address right there in the syllabus. That is a live link. Um, 
then we got like the course objectives, topics that's going to be covered. Blah, blah, blah. So, all right. So I think that just about does it for us. Okay. So I went through, you know, what to expect. D2L is going to be where everything is going to stay. All right. So all of your assignments are going to be listed or and linked through D2L. And then all of your work is going to be done in Alex. The links for Alex login are in D2L as well. So when you need to do something in Alex, boop, I've got the link right there for you. It's going to open up Alex. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you go to the bookstore. So even though classes are online for the first two weeks, the college is still open. If you need to go to the bookstore, enrollment, financial aid, library, whatever, the college is still open and functioning. So go over there to the bookstore, get that Alex access code. You don't need a book. It has a free ebook included. All right. Um, if you don't already have your book voucher, all the students are eligible for a $200 book voucher. You just have to take your schedule to the business office. They'll give you the $200 book voucher that's good only in the Prairie State College bookstore. But hey, better than nothing, right? So I think that about does it. If you have any questions or concerns, please send me an email. Okay. You can always email me. You can come to my virtual office hours and ask me questions. If you have questions about the content, you can always just take a picture of what you're working on, be it on your computer screen or on paper, and email to me. Say, hey, I'm stuck. Um, I was doing this. I got to this point. Where did I go wrong? Or how do I start? You know, anything like that. You can always just send me a picture and I'll respond. So, all right. I'm looking forward to having a wonderful semester. And uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoy this class as much as I enjoy teaching it. All right. So.